What's up, YouTube? My winter project is almost complete. Started about a month ago. I actually started to, decided to sell some bodies I didn't like or wasn't crazy about to get up some of the funds to do the bill. Instead of just coming straight out of pocket with it. Try something different. It worked out pretty good. Cleared up some space in my house, plus I got a couple of dollars to go towards this. Okay, this is the Kyosho GT2 Demon Body. I have that car, I upgraded it, changed the body to the uh, the Audi body with the copper paint job and lights. So this body was just sitting around. I wanted to put this body to use and I wanted it to be an authentic rear wheel drive car. So that was my winter project. Main thing was sitting down, coming up with a game plan, how I wanted to approach getting it done so as you can see that's why the holes are off but I'm gonna find a stick or something to cover them up with I'll figure something out um Kyosho doesn't come with this with the body like this well it comes with a red body I did the hood I did the white stickers I did the demon decals on the side and I tinted the windows now you may see another one out there somewhere true story somebody copied it for the most part they did the hood smaller stickers and just the demon head sold it on ebay for like a buck 30 i thought it was crazy but that's what people do no shout out no props nothing so you might see a similar one out there might be more than that but this one that one i seen on ebay anyway wanted the real wheel drive rod for the demon american muscle so, I'm going to show you what I came up with. I call this the Slash GTL. L for long. Well, I'm going to say long wheelbase, but I don't want all the letters, so just Slash GTL. Didn't use, did not use an extension kit. Didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it clean and factory looking as possible. A lot of aluminum, so GT. I'm not gonna do any jumps and all that, so I'm good. Still need, so I still need a couple of parts like a servo link, connect the ESC, do some wiring. That's it. Got some fast lane machine parts, some STRC. I cut the uh, carbon fiber parts pieces myself, the aluminum, all the support I did on my own, side box. Wanted, I want this to be like a most likely an in house, a mostly in house um, build. Then the battery hold down supports. 3D printed that. Use like, I think I used about 90 or 95% um, fill. So this is very solid. It's one in the rear. You can see it or not, the strap goes beneath and through the middle. The top gives support for my um, ESC mount. All right, trying to keep it organized front to back. That's about it. Okay, I had this system in my GT2 originally. So y'all seen it with the red demon body in the park. Just the system I had in there. 130 amp. 4 SESC, 2100 KV motor, my um, 6600 UF cat pack. Turned it up a little bit with the program car. This is good. It's a good ESC. So it'll be in here for now anyway. It wasn't looking through a castle, but it looked like castle going through something. There ain't no parts, no items on the uh, website or in the stores that I checked it. MRP axles, this tranny, crazy. Fast lane machines training. It's called Super Trains. What well, they call the Super Tranny. It has a supposed to be a hardened anodized aluminum diff. Let me see how that works out. But it has X01 gears inside of it. So the X01 spider gears with the bar inside of it. I put like a 20 million weight diff fluid inside there with that. I didn't want to lock it up. That's damn nearly locked, but it's still not locked. So I'm waiting for my uh, spur gear to come in. 
Damn, I'm trying to figure out how to mount a woolly bar on there. Duh. I had to make my own rear body, uh, body mounts or body post angle for the contour of the window. So that'll sit flush on there when I put the caps on the top. I think that's about it. Not done yet. And once I do get it rolling by this weekend, I have the, um, the Tronics in it ready to roll. Afterwards, I'm going to do something else special to this. I'm not going to talk about that right now, but I got an idea for something special to do to it. That's about it. Slash GTL. Don't know if it's the first of its kind or not. I've seen stretch slashes. I've seen stretch slashes, but they stretch them out to like one fifth scale. I haven't seen one with 360 wheelbase. But that's about it. Peace.